The old king had said it many years before, but she hadn't understood. The battle will end when you stop fighting. Stop fighting? Her tribe had always fought. How else does one remain victorious? Are there going to be scars? The incisions won't be visible because they're so close to the hairline and the ear. Uh -huh. We carefully pull the skin and the muscle back and up. Mm -hmm. And we lift the eyelids for a refreshed and more youthful look. Now, we also might add just a little collagen to your lips. You'll be so beautiful, you won't even know what to do with yourself. Is this a lot of work to have done all at the same time? No. We do this all the time. The adjustments are very subtle. It's very common. Nobody will be able to tell that you've had any work done. They'll just think you've had a great vacation. But am I going to look like myself? No, I mean, there are those women Don't who... worry. You will look like yourself, just a prettier, younger you. Well, that would be lovely. Trust me, you'll be happy with the results. Okay. Let's do it. Great. I'll get Annie. Let's get this scheduled. <laughs> Yes. Mrs. Parker, the doctor said you're ready to schedule an appointment. Yes. All right, he's booked for the next three months, and his next available appointment is after the first of the year. But you might be in luck. We actually had a cancellation for Friday. And we have your exams and your medical records. So if you want, we could put you in there. This Friday? Whoa, that is really soon. Yeah, I know. And you will need a couple of weeks of recovery after the surgery before you, you can be out and about. So let's look at, let's look at January. Okay, wait, no, I'm sorry. I, I just, 
I need to make a few arrangements. I can make this work. Let's do it. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Friday it is. Wow. Wow. Elizabeth, are you out of your mind? Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Why? So, am I going to see you at Elijah's play? Yes, you're going to see me at Elijah's play. You are completely avoiding the question. <sighs> okay. If you have a favorite outfit that you absolutely love, and you wear it all the time, and then you lose a lot of weight, and it doesn't fit anymore, what do you do? I get rid of it, and I'd go shopping for new clothes. <laughs> or... You take it to the tailor and you have it taken in. That's all I'm doing. I'm just having things tightened up a little bit so that my face fits the way it used to. This isn't some favorite outfit we're talking about. We're talking about your face. Sometimes young girls, when they don't like themselves, sometimes, unfortunately, they cut themselves. And when older girls still don't like themselves, they cut themselves too. Only they get a plastic surgeon to do it. Oh my gosh, you are being so dramatic. I'm not having that much done. And this is gonna make me feel younger. But I love your face, just like it is then you're gonna love it even more when I get it fixed. What if something goes wrong? There's no going back on this. Don't scare me. You're being way too intense. Now, this is for my dinner and for the tip. I have heard you. Thank you for loving me. And the next time you see me, be kind. I'll try. No, I will. Just do something for me before you go to bed tonight. Say goodbye to your face for me. I'll throw it a going away party. You are impossible. I know. It'll be okay. I'm getting ready to go to bed, and I love you. Okay, sweetheart. Good night. I love you. Mom? Yeah? You okay? You look, um, kind of depressed. I'm fine. I'm just sitting here looking at my face. Is there a particular reason why you're looking at your face? <laughs> that is a very good question. I don't know. I'm just looking at the changes and I don't know. Mom, everything changes and well, I don't really see what's wrong with your face. <laughs> Thank you. Are you afraid of getting old?
Hmm. Mom, I honestly think that the older you get, the more beautiful you are. Oh, really? Really. And remember, Mom, we're only as old as we feel. Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Lige. Mm. Thank you. Don't go in the street! like to uh, hear my imitations of the play that I made? Okay, I want to hear it. Okay. Arr, a nasty bartender. Give me a double lick of lemonade. Extra sour. But hold the lines. As she climbed the hill alone in the early light, she wondered at the strange journey that had brought her to this place. The arrow had not pierced her heart, but shattered in midair. And as it exploded into a thousand tiny specks of dust, the spell was broken. Reaching the top of the mountain, she stood in stillness and awe. A pasture filled with exquisite wildflowers of all colors and shapes were dancing in the morning light. The morning was unusually crisp, sparkling with dewdrops and rich with the smell of lilac 
and new hope. Unspeakable beauty lay before her. Surely it must have been here all along, but her eyes were now open. Dr. Snyder's office. Yes, hi, this is Elizabeth Parker. I have an appointment to have surgery tomorrow morning. Hi, Mrs. Parker, how can I help you? I need to cancel that appointment. Is there anything wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. I just need to cancel the appointment. Oh, okay, will you be rescheduling? She gazed upon the valley that she'd come to many times before. Something had changed. She saw a gentler, kinder place now, filled with grace and new possibilities. And as the morning sun kissed her cheeks and the breeze gently caressed her hair, she knew she had found her way home at last. to stay. starts right here I love you now the life we live the love we give I love you it starts right 